everyone. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this headband. I got this pattern online from crochetspot.com and the link is in the description below. But I made a little variation because I'm using a different kind of yarn and a different size of crochet hook. The dimensions for this are for the lacy headband design itself is 14 by 2 inches and the strap is 13 inches long each. So let's get started! For the materials, I'm using this Japanese yarn and it says here cotton mixed yarn. It's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic and I believe this is a size 1 yarn, super fine. But you can also use crochet thread size 10. And I'm using a size 0 crochet hook. This is 3.25 millimeter. So let's start with a knot and chain 86. So this is now 86 chains and we'll proceed with row 1. Row 1, single crochet in second chain from hook. So 1, 2, single crochet here. Then single crochet in the next chain here. Then chain three one two three then skip three stitches one two three and single crochet in the next three stitches so from here single crochet here one another single crochet in the next stitch and another single crochet in the next stitch so three single crochets then repeat the pattern that's how it looks like chain three again one two three and then skip three stitches and then single crochet in the next three so starting here one Two, another single crochet in the next stitch and another single crochet in the next stitch. This is how it looks like. So repeat the pattern. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. There are five chains left. So I'm just going to continue with skipping three stitches so skip three and then single crochet in the last two chains so this is one and two single crochets to end the row and this is how row one looks like Row 2, chain 1, and then turn, single crochet in the first stitch here, single crochet, and then skip the next stitch, and then on the chain 3 space, 5 double crochets on the chain 3 space, so here, 1, two, three, four, and five. This is how it looks like. Then skip the next stitch and then single crochet on the next stitch. 
So basically in the middle stitch of the uh, three, chain, three single crochet. So here single crochet. And then skip the next stitch again. And then repeat the pattern of five double crochets on chain three space here. So one, two, three, four, and five. That's how it looks like. Then skip next stitch and single crochet in the next so this is the pattern and then skip the next stitch again and five double crochets again on chain three space so continue this pattern across and then i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be um, back towards the end of the row So I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm just gonna skip this stitch and then the last five double crochets on the chain three space here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then to end the row, skip the next stitch and then single crochet on the last stitch here. So this is how to end the row. And this is row two. Row three, chain three, one, two, three, turn. And then skip the two first two stitches. So skip one and two. And then on the next stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, another one on the next stitch, and then another one on the next stitch. So that's three single crochets. And then chain three, one, two three and then skip three stitches again one two three and then single crochet in the next three stitches again so here one another one on the next stitch and another one on the next stitch so this is the pattern so repeat the pattern chain three again one two three skip three stitches and then single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, another one in the next stitch, and another one in the next stitch. This is how it looks like. So repeat the pattern across. I'm cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm just gonna skip the next three stitches and then single crochet here in the next three. So one, another one on the next stitch and another one on the next stitch. And then chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch and then single crochet, skip this one and single crochet in the last stitch. So this is how to end the row. And this is row three. Row four, chain two, turn, and then skip the first single crochet, this one. And then three double crochets on the chain two space here. In this chain two space, three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then skip 
the next stitch here and on the next stitch single crochet then skip the next stitch this one skip this one and then on the chain three space five double crochets on the chain three space here so one two three four and five And then skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch here. This is how it looks like. So repeat the pattern, skip the next stitch and five double crochets again on chain three space here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's the pattern. Skip the next stitch and single crochet, skip and five double crochets on chain three space. So repeat this pattern across. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. So I'm just gonna continue the pattern, skip the next stitch here, and then five double crochets on the chain three space here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, and then skip the next stitch, skip this one, and then on the chain three space here, three double crochets. So one, two, and three. So that is how to end the row. And this is row four. Row five, chain one, turn, single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two single crochets and then chain three, one, two, three, Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the next three stitches. So from here, single crochet one, single crochet in another next stitch, and another one on the next stitch. Then repeat the pattern, chain three again. This is how it looks like. Chain three, one, two, three, and then skip three stitches again, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch here. One, two, another one on the next stitch, and another one on the next stitch. So repeat this pattern, chain three, skip three stitches, and single crochet in the next three stitches. I'll repeat this pattern across, I'll be cutting off the video, and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just continue the pattern, skip three stitches and then single crochet in the next three starting here. So one, another one on the next stitch and another one on the next stitch. And then chain three again, one, two, three, and then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the last two stitches. So here, one, 
single crochet in the last. So to end the row, two single crochets in the last two stitches. And this is row five. So from here, repeat rows two, three, and four. And I'm going to continue my work and I'll be back when I have completed all my rows. So this is now how my piece looks like after um, crocheting, repeating the rows two, three, and four. So from here, the next step would be to crochet the straps. So for the straps, we'll just continue where we left off, but uh, turn your project this way and then chain one, single crochet in the next here stitch. So this is one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So evenly single crochet 10 stitches across like this. Then row two for this strap, chain two, turn, double crochet in the first stitch here, and then do a DC two double crochet two together, DC two tug. So yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. So this is the DC two tug. So do another three DCT tog, DC two tog. So yarn over, pull through. So this is the second DCT, DC two tog, and then the third. This is the third one, and then fourth DC to tug. And then double crochet on the last stitch. So we are decreasing the number of stitches in row two, like this. So for row three, chain two again, and then turn, and just double crochet in each stitch across. So here, one, two, so just double crochet in each stitch. This is row three. Row four. Chain two, turn, double crochet in the first stitch, and then we'll do two DC two tog crochet, uh, stitches. So this is the first DC, t, DC two tog. So that's one DC two tog, another one. another one so that's two and then just double crochet on the last stitch there 
So this is row four. Row five, chain two, turn, and double crochet in the first stitch, and just double crochet in each stitch across. So at this point for row five, we should have five double crochets for this row, including the uh, chain two, the turning chain two stitches. So this is row five. Row six, chain two, turn, and single crochet in the, I mean double crochet in the first stitch and double crochet in each stitch across. So this is just basically a repeat of row five. So repeat, basically repeat row five until you reach your desired uh, length for your strap. So I'm going to continue my work. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back to show you the next step. So this is now how my piece looks like I, after I have crocheted my, the desi my desired length for the strap. This is basically um, 13 inches from, um, from this point here up to the end of the strap here, 13 inches. So from here, I'm just going to fasten off and cut the yarn. So we're done with the first strap here, then we'll go, we're going to work on the other strap here. So from here, just attach the yarn on the tail, attach the two yarns together like this. And then start off, insert and pull through, and then follow the uh, pattern for the other strap. So from here just follow the pattern which is chain one and evenly crochet 10 single crochets across and so on and so forth. So I'm going to cut off the video and um, continue my work and then I'll be back to show you the final, the finished project. So this is now how the piece looks like with the stra two straps finished already. Um, so from here, I'm just going to fasten off. This is the other strap and then cut the yarn and weave the ends. And we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and